This is Zach Clark, Development and Leadership Coaching. I want to talk with you today about the concept of rapid success projects. Now, rapid success projects is a term that I think was first used by a remarkable thought leader named Robert Schaefer, who had uh, it still uh, has a, a pretty amazing team of people that work with huge corporations and, and really some of the largest nonprofits and most complex projects around the world. And they use a specific method uh, called rapid success projects where uh, they are helping bring about organizational change. Well, I had the opportunity to learn from some people who've really gone through this and even taught this and got very captivated by this idea and have simplified that down and helped many ministry organizations use this technique to introduce new momentum and a new result over a, a relatively short period of time. So rapid success projects, I'm just going to share with you a few of these basic techniques really to try to expand your toolkit to be able to use this in your own leadership. Now, rapid success projects are best defined as something that you focus on and it's trying to move the needle for results in a hundred day period of time. Now, you've heard me talk before about 100 days or 12 weeks or 14 weeks, however you define it. The reality is it is very difficult to sustain effort and focus among a group of people for results for more than 100 days at a time. After that, uh, the vision leaks, the energy leaks, the focus sort of drifts away and starts meandering. And so go ahead, uh, the first step in a rapid success project is to go ahead and define in a 100-day period what are we trying to accomplish? What kind of momentum are we trying to achieve in 100 days? And define it with a start and a stop date. Uh, in my own planning, I'll often, uh, I always have, and have had for many years now, 100-day chunks of time. And I'll have a sheet where I have the start date and the end date and what we are going to try to accomplish over that 100-day period. So just that skill alone, or that discipline, it's really more of a discipline than a skill, um, can have huge implications. But we're going to define, in a 100-day period, exactly what are we trying to move the needle on. Now, in your case, of course, I want to focus in on giving. How are we going to rapidly increase our momentum and uh, commitments and giving over a defined period of time through a rapid success project. So I'm going to give you some ideas. So first, we're going to establish the time frame. Second, we're going to set a very measurable milestone or goal to have achieved at the end of that 100 days. And then we're going to define who are we going to focus on, who are we going to mobilize for the effort. Now, this is where we get a, de a departure from just the idea of focusing on certain donors. Instead, what we're going to do is instead of focusing on a list of donors, we're going to focus on a list of influencers. And using the rapid success approach, we're going to mobilize their efforts and energy in a 100-day period. And so what do I mean by this influencers? Well, I mean volunteers, okay? We're going to focus on people who've already given or committed at a significant level, whatever that means to you, we're going to focus on people that you would like to see engaged at a deeper level in the work that you're doing. We're going to focus on people who are connected perhaps to a company or a group, a foundation or a community foundation or a community group. This is someone that you can connect the dots between their position of influence and their ability to communicate effectively with other people who might give to your ministry as well. So we're going to focus on people like that. And then lastly, we're going to focus on key staff. Even if you're a very small ministry, the key staff that are going to be heavily involved in this 100-day period as well, because somebody has to be driving all this forward, even if that is you. So we're going to identify and build a list of these are the people that we're going to try to mobilize to a new level of momentum and impact on this goal over a 100-day period. So we're going to start. We're going to start with a list. Now, the next techniques are um, going to sound rather rudimentary, but it's this discipline. You're going to chart out in the first few weeks of this 100-day period 
how are we going to mobilize these groups of people? And there's a couple of ways. One is you can tackle these folks face to face one at a time. So a key influencer, for instance, that's a donor, you might want to meet with face to face and say, in the next 100 days, we're focusing on seeing the next half a million dollars committed to our ministry. And what I, what I want to talk to you about is if you could, if you're only going to do one, two or three things in the next 100 days, it would have an impact on that. What would it be? Now, the reason why this works is in today's world, it is getting harder and harder to recruit volunteers to serve on committees or roles that just seem to last forever. And in fact, the higher the impact that an individual can have, the busier they usually are, and therefore, the more reluctant they are to join something that has no defined uh, scope or length of time. So this uh, approach of saying, here's what we're trying to accomplish, and here's what we're focusing on the next 100 days, Here's the group of people that I'm meeting with to talk with about this. You're one of those people. And the question is, what is it that you could do if the Lord enables you to do it to have the most impact in the next 100 days? What's one thing, two things, three things? So that's one method. Uh, another method as you look at this list of people is recruit some of these folks to serve on an advisory group. So we're focusing on this momentum in 100 days. We want to see the next half a million or whatever your number is committed. And we're going to form a advisory group or a task force just to focus on this. And this gets them on the thinking on the front end. Wow, we've got 100 days to accomplish this. How are we going to tackle this? Who's going to do what? I can take this. Here's an idea. Here's a connection. But again, because it's defined on the scope of 100 days, people can look on their calendar they can see that far out and you will see new ideas and creativity and frankly, work ethic unlocked in this. So advisory groups or task forces are a key, key thing. Now, 100 days seems simple enough, doesn't it? We've got 100 days to secure half a million in commitments. Um, but people do need milestones along the way. So within the first few weeks, after you've connected with these people, you're going to want to help them either identify for themselves or you're going to identify kind of what are the key markers along the way. Uh, maybe uh, we're going to go three weeks, three weeks, three weeks along the way with updates along the way. You have to keep the information in front of people and the movement in front of people or uh, it just kind of everything gets pushed to the back burner until the very end and then they scramble and, and don't get near as much accomplished. So it's key that you've established some milestones with them along the way. Now, the last uh, big potential of this list that, uh, that we've identified of these people that I want to point out to you is unlocking corporate giving or group influencing uh, or groups that can be influenced by individuals. So again, in a 100-day period, this is an amazing technique to use where you've identified one person who's an influencer with a particular company. Maybe they work in that company or uh, investors or partners or uh, associated with that company. Let's, use, let's say they're an employee. Um, in a 100-day cycle, you can really start the conversations with that individual Help them see where you're trying to be 100 days from now and focus them in on how is it that we can engage other employees in your company or other people that if you ask them to take a look at what's happening here, what God is doing, that they might be stirred, that God might use them in their giving. So this is a powerful, powerful tool to be able to mobilize that woman that you know who's on your list, who works at this major company and she has, uh, knows other people in the organization or the company that are Christians, and, but how, how to introduce this to them. Just telling somebody, hey, I want you to work on that. Would you help us with that? That does not get the job done. But you put that person on a 100-day project like this, it is amazing what will happen. So that's the technique. I want to see you take this and run with it and do something with it. You're carving out 100 days. You're thinking about your goal. 
You're identifying the people that are going to come together to work with you. This is about what you're going to do through others, not just what you're going to do yourself. You're going to meet with them on the front end. You're going to front unload the work of casting the challenge of what can be accomplished in 100 days. You're going to ask them one, two, or three things that, that they can do. Others you're going to involve in an advisory group or task force just to focus on how can they accomplish this. And then last but not least, you're going to identify the people who have influence with their company or another group they're affiliated with, and you're going to challenge them to help you accomplish this in a 100-day period. If you will try this once and see what God does in the 100-day cycle, I promise you, you're going to be looking at what do we do the next 100 days? Or when's the next 100 day chunk of time that I can put this kind of energy? I've seen it over and over and over again. This will unlock new momentum and new capacity. And I look forward to hearing about it from you. Thank you.